What's your name? <laughs> People are acting violently out of their minds, possessed by paranoia, hallucinations, and psychotic thoughts. Looks like scenes from a horror zombie movie, doesn't it? Well, it's not. The fact is, the bizarre behavior is happening on our streets, and authorities are pointing fingers at a unique culprit, substances commonly known as bath salts. It's confused the public that you've got to be kidding me. Kids are going to a store with bath salts, and they're snorting bath salts? And the answer is no, they're not. These are not true bath salts. These aren't the same crystals sprinkled into a tub full of warm water for a soothing soak. Basalt is actually a street name for the latest line of popular designer drugs that mimic the same high as cocaine and meth. The problem being, it's a synthetic drug. So it's not like methamphetamine or cocaine. Everybody knows what's in them. This, they could take one chemical that's on the ban list, that's against the law to have. They could take it, you know, tweak it a little bit, and it's not going to be on the ban list, so it's legal for them to sell it. A legal way to get high, enticing many young people to try the drug. It is also popular because they don't cause drug screens to show up positive and they're easy to get. Purchasing basalts is as easy as buying any other product online. All you need to do is click on the item that you want, enter your ordering information, and it should be delivered to you in about a week. I worry about that, that uh, there may not be an end in this. and This may be the new cycle that we see. The youth are very well attuned to the internet. But Virginia is taking steps to stop the cycle before it spirals out of control. In July, over 200 chemicals were added to the drug ban list, making the code to prosecute more generic and the ability to make basalt alternatives more difficult. Law enforcement officials say educating the public about these drugs is another front they're focusing on. Teach them what we know about what we see, what the trend is, what we see in stores and you know people selling here, how they use it, what it's made out of so forth and so forth. Authorities hope this prevention push will ultimately decrease demand for bath salts as the prosecution effort continues to constrict supply so that gradually these dangerous drugs will be less available. In Charlottesville, this is Amy Vu reporting.